Hi, and welcome to Retro Tech Guardian RTG with uh, Ted and I. Yes, we're back. Um, it's been a while. It's been over a year since I've uh, since I've recorded any videos. Um, it's been a bit of a tough year. Uh, Work-wise, extremely busy. Um, just life in general has got in the way. Uh, as you can see in front of me, um, I've still been buying um, bits and pieces for the channel uh, to show off um, from little uh, high 8 video recorders over there with the screen, the little Sony one there. Uh, I've got new video senders to try out for uh, transmitting VHF signals or UHF signals um, onto analog TVs. Uh, I've got some little analog TVs, liquid crystal ones, um, got some more camcorders from the 80s up. Uh, yeah, so I've got quite a few bits. There's some Arcoses uh, to show you, a uh, little mini disc player um, or recorder as well. So yeah, so uh, been busy. Um, it's it's just been tough. I mean, I, I work nights, um, and I, I get one day a week to myself because um, I work five nights a week. I work six into six days, so uh, it, it's hard finding the time to do this. But I've bought myself a new camera, which uh, I hope the uh, quality will come across as being a lot better. Um, so I've bought myself a new camera, a Sony. Uh, I think it's the CX450 um, instead of using my uh, mobile phone as my camera uh, so I hope that comes across better sound and better video quality uh, I'm still learning how to use it and set it up so again it might get even better as the uh, as time progresses so yeah so I'm, I'm ready to get back into it um, I noticed I've got a lot of uh, comments and, and questions and everything that I know I haven't responded to and I apologize for everybody for not responding to them I I do have some time off work coming up soon uh, the Easter bank holiday coming up so I have to have the uh, four days five days off there so uh, I will be going through all the comments uh, and getting back to everybody and apologising to everybody personally with, the, with uh, you know, not getting back to you quicker. Um, so I will keep on top of that a bit more. Um, yeah, so uh, come back with a you know, bit more enthusiasm towards it and uh, I really want to try and get, you know, the channel back up and running and, and uh, try and provide more content for you. So yeah, so um, <clears throat> right now, uh, some of the questions I had were about the video cameras I've already done, uh, which is about getting the information off them or getting the footage off them. Now, I don't have a video capture card at the moment. Uh, I've got one on order, it's come in. Um, I only have a, a Surface, a Microsoft Surface Pro, which only has one USB socket, uh, unless I buy the dock, of course. Um, so, I, you know, I'm not, I, I don't have unlimited funds, um, so I'm having to buy a basic USB one so uh, I can uh, record onto them uh, and then I can then update all the videos that I'm going to be showing about camcorders uh, with some video footage. Hopefully we have some nice weather over the bank holiday uh, and Ted and I, here he is, um, we'll be going out and um, filming some pictures outside and and like I say I'll be putting them onto the video capture card and updating all the videos with um, footage. I mean my videos are never about reviews. I don't review the quality of the cameras and everything. I just like to show them. I like to collect them um, and I like to just show them and, and let people see them and see what kind of video footage you can get out of it. Now I fully understand the video capture card I'm going to be getting won't be the best quality. So, um, you know, it's going to be limited. And some of the cameras I've got, like especially this this um, Sony Ruby, which is uh, from the 80s, um, this will be uh, quite challenging, I suppose, because the video quality won't be great on it, I don't think. And it probably be even worse through a USB um, video capture card 
but I will do my best with that. Uh, and I've got some DVD cameras, uh, I've got some mini DV, that's another hard drive one or it takes a memory card, but it's a Sony one, I don't have the Sony memory stick, so it'll be on the hard drive. Uh, and then I have my uh, Pride and Joy, the one I picked up most recently, uh, another eBay find. Um, didn't know if it worked or not, I bought it basically as spares, didn't come with a charger, so I bought a charger separate, and lo and behold, it works fine. Uh, so far, I haven't tested all the functions, because there's so many functions on that camera, unbelievable. So uh, I'm going to be looking forward to doing that one. Um, that one might be a little bit of a longer video, because there's so much to show on that. So yeah, so um, I will be getting back to it. Uh, and like I say, I apologise to everybody who's asked questions and, and um, you know, got in touch and supported the channel so far. I know it's, it hasn't got huge numbers and what have you, but I, I know that people have been very interested in some of the stuff I've done and, and people have asked me about, especially I've had questions about the uh, sending video to an analog TV. Uh, I've got a little video sender here, uh, which I'm going to show. Um, I'm hoping that one works. Uh, if not, I have got something else coming, which is uh, a signal booster and another aerial coming. Uh, so we can experiment with that and see if we can get a better range and a better quality of image uh, through that. And then I can give people a more detailed way of how to set that up. Um, yeah, and um, all the camcorders that I've got, they've got batteries in them that work. Uh, luckily for me, the, the Ruby built-in uh, lithium battery doesn't uh, hold a charge anymore, but you can actually put AA batteries in that, so I can get footage of that one. Um, out of all the Sony camcorders that's here, these three, uh, the only battery that works is this one, uh, and it's a replacement, it's a Duracell battery, as you can see. Um, but that one works, so obviously that will power those other two Sony cameras, so at least I can take them all out like, with me on one battery and try and get like 5-10 minutes footage on each camera, uh, try and get some varying shots, different, uh, you know, different lighting and, and, and see how they go. Um, yeah, and the uh, Arcos is... Um, I'll have to try and find some video that's uh, that I can show on the channel, obviously, that is um, royalty-free. <clears throat> so uh, I will get onto that and download some of that onto these so that I can show them working. The batteries on these are non-existent. They're so old, these Arcoses. That's the Arcos 5, and then that's the Arcos 5. The um, That's the internet version. And um, they're both Arcos 5, so one's just got the internet in. Um, and then I've got the Arcos 705 over there. I've got another Arcos with uh, the AV700 with a built-in free view and, and uh, what have you. And I've also got a little bullet camera for the Arcoses to plug into. I think it only works with the 705 and the 7000. I don't think it works with these two. Um, but I can test that, but I don't think it works with these two, off the top of my head. So yeah, so I will get involved, I will get back into it. Um, Ted and I will be uh, appearing more often. Uh, I am going to aim to do at least one, or hopefully two, uh, videos every week. Um, this is only a small selection, by the way, of what I've been buying. I've got a lot more stuff than this to show you. Uh, so I have still been buying the odd bits um, when they've come up cheap bargains some people have donated stuff to me so uh, like the um, mini disc for instance that was donated to me with discs and chargers and what have you which was nice uh, the Sony camera there was donated to me the mini DV Sony one is that the Sony one I hope it is oh no that's the Canon one so it must be this one there you go <laughs> that's the one that was donated to me the Sony one, um, and the rest of the stuff has been bought on eBay. That was found in cash converters in um, in Southport, uh, the video sender, which is quite unusual. I've got another um, video sender to uh, 
Well, it's it's not necessarily a video sender. It's um, you can put a, a an analog TV signal into it. So um, an analog signal from I don't know from your Arcos from your cameras, and then you can set the channel, uh, and then connect that to the TV via your aerial. But it doesn't transmit over a distance like this one's supposed to. Um, so you have to actually physically plug that into your TV, but. The reason for buying that was I thought if I can get one of these little things working, the video sender or this new VHF aerial pack I'm going to buy with the uh, UHF aerial pack, sorry, the with the signal booster, the old analog uh, signal booster for uh, TVs. So buying a second-hand one again, hopefully I've got to hope it works. Um, so yeah, so that was the idea. If I got that other unit, then I can set what channel to set the TV to so it's easier for me to set them up and then find to show on the channel so yeah and I've got um, I've got a really old Sony Betamax video camera um, uh, apparently it was the very first video camera in the sense that the tape was actually in the camera where before you used to have a pack on your side which had the video and the recorder in and then your camera would be separate and it would be connected via a wire um, so I've got one of those, unfortunately it's Betamax, I don't have any Betamax tapes and I don't have any, uh, I don't have a Betamax player and they've gone through the roof, some of these Betamax players now, the, the video recorders. So I might struggle to show them, uh, I know there's a couple of bits here that don't work very well. Um, I'm going to try and stick away because I've got so much stuff. For now all my repair videos uh, I will be trying to keep away from. Um, uh, not for any other reason apart from I've got so much to do and I have so little time it's uh, it's nigh on impossible to get these things to spend, to spend the time repairing them uh, and to be able to record videos so it takes a while for me to set up I don't have a studio at home so uh, I'm using my dining room table and uh, setting this up and then obviously I have to and set it all back up and use it as a dining room table. So, yeah, so, but like I say, I'll, I'll get through all the content. So, just wanted to say thank you for everybody for supporting me so far, and I hope you continue to support me. Uh, I will be releasing more videos. Uh, like I say, it will be, I will be aiming to do one or at least two. Um, I will get the video capture card, which I know a lot of people were asking about the, um, the video footage from the cameras that I show and I have got a lot more cameras so I do need to get that sorted so that is coming um, <clears throat> so I will be able to capture some um, I can only at the moment do the ones where the batteries hold a charge for the cameras um, unless I can put an extension lead out in my back garden and take some video footage outside but it'll be a bit boring and but at least you'll be able to get to see the quality of the video um, I could possibly do some video footage inside, but you're not really going to see much move or change. Um, so I'll try and do that. Um, and like I say, we'll get we'll get those back up. And uh, so I'll be revisiting a lot of the cameras I've already done and doing a new video. I'm not going to add to my old video. I'm going to redo a new video and explain that this is the video footage for that camera. Um, yeah, and I'll get that all done for everyone, and and then uh, hopefully we can see exactly what I see when I play them back. Uh, I don't even have an analog TV anymore, so I can't even plug them into a TV. I do have a video player, but it's pointless me putting them onto a video player if you're never going to be able to see the quality properly. So if I can upload them to the computer and then upload them to the video, at least you'll be able to see them. So... Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you continue to watch and, and like and subscribe to videos because it does help me. It does push me on to do more. Um, seeing all the comments and everything and knowing that I've not done anything for a year uh, isn't great. Um, but I am back now. Um, my life shouldn't be as hectic um, like it has been over the last 12 months. Um, so... I've, I find myself with a little bit more time, hence I'm doing the videos, and I did aim to do a couple last week, but my new camera didn't turn up in time, so I wanted to use my new camera to try it out. So if you have any comments on anything, on what in particular item you'd like to see me uh, do first, then please put a comment below. 
<clears throat> and I'll try and accommodate whichever one you want to see first. The video cameras I am going to try and do over the Easter weekend, but I don't mind revisiting them and showing you video footage of them if I just show you the camera itself. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching, um, and I hope you continue to support the channel. I really appreciate everybody that has so far. So thank you, and goodbye.